Hello, Troria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome to the Forium mod. So we have decided to kickstart a brand new series playing through the Forium mod. So to give you guys a little bit of a background of me, the Forium mod, and what it does, and what I've played, I'll start here. So the Forium mod adds over 1,200 new items to Terraria. Like, that's insane. That's like an expansion pack that adds a quarter of the game's content back on, right? It also has like over 50 new armor sets. It has 80 new enemies. It has 90 new blocks and furnitures. It has 9 new NPCs, 10 new bosses, and a new biome, right? So, uh, to give a little history, I actually tested this mod about a year and a half ago. I actually tried it with a bunch of other mods, and I never really got to see everything it had. Like, I never got to the final boss, I never even got close to the final boss, and I never even got to try, like, I don't know, like 80% of the content. And then I seen a couple of boss fights, I made a couple of boss fights, and then that's about it. So I'm going into this relatively blind, so I'm going to need some good eyes, some people like you, to actually help me along with my adventure, right? So, to give a little background, once again, hi, my name is James, or you can call me Chippy. Uh, this is Chippy's Couch, this is where I post all of my daily Terraria content, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. This has been going on for two months now, and you guys have made it such a great success, and you've made it like a really nice place to be around, right? So, I want to thank you all for that. But yeah, my name is James, you may have seen me around YouTube before, I have a, a pretty popular Terraria channel called Chippy Gaming. That's our big one. I believe it's like the most popular Terraria channel in the world who still posts Terraria, of course. But, um, <laughs> so you may have seen me from that or you may have even seen the Calamity mod, which has been such a laugh. And it was actually the people who watch Calamity mod every single day who voted on this series. So if it wasn't for them, you guys wouldn't have been here. This wouldn't have been new. So it's thank you to them. So, hey, thank you very much. If you're coming over from Calamity mod, you get some brownie points. You know what I mean? You get those brownie points. Right, so I'm killing this slime, and we are on our way. So, other mods I have are the boss checklist, an item recipe. You guys know that. So look at that. That is a, that's a lot of bosses. Is there any post moon lord? Okay, there's one post moon lord, the Ragnarok. Okay, so we were, let's be honest, we were spoiled with the calamity, weren't we, with uh, post moon lord content, right? We were pretty spoiled. And then I also have what mod is this from? So this will show us where uh, a mod is, you know, it will show us where you get the mod from. So you can kind of see if I scroll over an item and you pause, you'll be able to tell if uh, if it's from this mod or not. So let's see. Family heirloom. This jewelry has been passed down your family for generations. All right, let's try that on. You also get some fertilizer. Click on a sapling or plant to make it grow instantly. Uh, that's from the Skyblock mod. And then I believe this bucket is also from the Skyblock mod, which is uh, another mod we use to uh, to fish for us, so that we don't have to bother with fishing in the series. We can let the uh, we can let the game do it for us. Okay. Well, it's enough. Uh, it's enough time spending uh, walking around, <laughs> like that made sense. So let's go and see if we have any caves. Let's go and see if this uh, if this world is decent or not. Tell you what, not got a lot of trees at the start. I did cut a few of them down. That's probably why, but hey, look at this, a giant mountain and a day bloom. And you know what? That rope's going to come in really handy because I'm going to mess that up royally. <laughs> How can I do that even more? So, uh, yeah, my name's James. I'm uh, I'm half decent at Terraria. I'm not very good. Everyone always says I'm modest when I say that, but uh, I still don't believe I'm very good. All right, let's uh, take all this and hit the road, hit the road. So hopefully there are a few people out there who haven't played this yet and get to see it blind like me. And hey, even if you have, I hope that you can just, you know, stop by and leave me tips because uh, the earlier I get those tips, the better we can perform overall. So look at that, two planting things. So we got the uh, guy to plant fiber, which is basically just getting rope. And then we got a herb bag, which I can appreciate. Fire blossom is pretty good. I'm cool with water leaf as well. And I'll take that chest. Nice, and then we're going to make some platforms, and we're going to build across. So, typical Terraria stuff for day one. I want to scout around my world, see what it's all like. Now, this new biome that it adds, right, what was it called? The uh, It was called the Aquatic Depths. Now, I've got to believe that that's an ocean biome, right? Hopefully. I mean, come on. I could be completely out of my depths here. But yeah, so it's a, it's a new biome. So, I'm guessing that's at the end of the world. So, these are my, uh, my, these are my predictions right now. And this can just show you how much I actually know about Forium. I know that there's a big grand bird, 
Uh, I know that there's a jellyfish, because the jellyfish is cool. Um, <laughs> I know that there's a, a boss on the thumbnail that I had to find. And that's about it. That's all I really know. I'm, I'm so newbie when it comes to this. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, little goldfish down there. Let's uh, let's carry on. So, to give you a little background into uh, into why I make these series, I make daily Terraria series because it serves two purposes. One, if I make them every day, it means I can read every single comment and act upon it, and it also means that I don't get to pre-record. So that means if I'm ill one day, we miss an upload, and that sucks. But that's not what I'm getting onto. Making daily content as well is really good because it gives you guys. A bit of an insight into my life. It makes everything a little bit more personal. I'm about to go fr through a boulder? Dude. Oh, that's that's a grim way to start an episode. Just, whew, flat as a pancake. But yeah, I'm about to go through like a massive life transition in a couple of weeks. I'm moving into like my first house. So I live in a, I live in a really small city place at the minute. But everything is about to change, right? So uh, it's cool to bring people along in my own life. And by posting daily, we get to have a little conversation about that, and I like it. It's a nice back and forth. Right, back onto the game. We've collected some decent loot. Got a wand of sparking, though, and uh, that's pretty naff. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Tim the Wizard proved that when we did our first series, that a wand of sparking is pretty bad. And this is expert mode, of course. So, uh, yeah, not the best move. You know what? I did actually hear that boulder. I did hear it, and then uh, and then I died. You know what I mean? I had I had no time to really think about it. Let's see. We'll uh, we'll keep this on us, and I'll I'll open it up every now and again. Hey, bird statue. You know what? We could set up a little bird farm. Ah, oh, it would be so pretty. Right. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, we got some pots here. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take that pot too, and then I will take the bird statue with me because I actually like bird statues. I like keeping all my wiring stuff. Right, do I have anything? I've got grenades. Do I have shuriken? Yeah, I must have shuriken by now. Whoa! Back off, dude. There we go. I'll take these shuriken then. And we'll use these to fight. Because I'm not using that copper short sword. That copper short sword is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know what's worse though. The, the wonder sparking or a copper short sword right now? Probably the wonder sparking, let's be honest. Hey, an ice biome. Alright, this is a... Never a good sign, but you know what? I'll take that topaz because topaz is a good sign. So I've been skipping out a bunch of loot, as you guys may have noticed. I, uh, I've never been the one to grab all the loot straight away in terms of uh, in terms of ores and stuff like that. I usually leave ores behind and I'll probably gather them when I need them. But uh, I have a funny feeling that I might need some in the Thorium mod. So uh, it's going to be important to note there's some copper there. I think I passed some lead. So it's going to be important to note which ones I need and which ones I don't. That's going to be a learning curve. So let's place ropes down here. All the way to the bottom. Dude, this goes on forever. Like, how long is... <laughs> My god. Okay, ice bat, ice bat. Watch out. Woo! Okay. Did I survive that? No? Oh, snap, 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 snap. Alright, okay, that was pretty foolish. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that was pretty foolish indeed. Yeah, you take my pennies, Granite Elemental. Yeah, you get out of here as well. Yeah, I thought I had that then, but uh, clearly not. Clearly not. So when I say I'm not great at Terraria, I really meant it. You guys best be prepared for that. I am not the best. Don't make me out to be. You can play something every day and still suck. You know what I mean? Make rookie mistakes. That's totally chippy right now. Dude, I played so much Calamity, like so many days in a row. That I, I feel overpowered, so I'm coming back to like fresh Terraria and feeling like a scrub, right? I want my Arc of Elemental back. I want to move over my, uh, <laughs> I want to move over my Galactica and my Galaxia and, uh, and I'll be set. But, uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Right. Uh, we out of torches. Right, okay. We're out of torches. We're out of torches. So I'm just going to have to steal this one and we'll have to be on our way, good sir. You know what? I'll disable that for uh, for safety purposes. There we go. Making it a safer place for everyone. All this ice in the way, though. That's not good. All right, please give me some torches. Hiya! Okay, you gave me uh, you gave me silver. I'll take it. I'll take this as well. All right, put this back up. We're gonna have to work on this one. Okay, like I say, it is expert mode, so uh, it's a little bit harder. Some of the enemies have secondary attacks and stuff. 
you guys know the drill. Unless you're a console player, and then you'll be getting expert mode in a couple of weeks, right? Which is awesome. So, hey, kudos to you, dudes. Kudos to you. Okay, I'm going to take this torch. Oh, my God. And we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way. Never speak to me, my child, or my dog again. We're on our way. Okay, can I bunny hop there? Hey, awesome. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a little uh, that's a little challenge in itself down there. I'm going to place a torch here then, I guess. I'm going to dive into this. Is this going to give me a frozen buff? Debuff? Probably, right? All right, am I going to be able to, uh, to flood the water through there as well? Like, is there enough, you know, air space to cover that? Hmm, probably. Let's let that air out. I'll work on the bats for now. I did see one big bat, but he's left. Oh, I'll take that torch. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's getting caught on the uh, the little lip here. So we should be good. All right, let's place down this torch. And let's grab... Oh, dude, I'll grab the bookshelf. That boreal bookshelf, man. That looks so good. I'll, I'll put back up this chandelier just to make it a little bit brighter. Man, why do these always come, like, powered off? <laughs> Terraria is a need of a mechanic, you know what I mean? Like, it just wants you to come and uh, turn its lights back on. Right, so ice skates. Pretty happy with that because that's obviously going to be good for uh, making accessories later on. And then what else did we get? We got a, uh, a loom. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with the loom. But let's work on this dude, right? Let's work on this one. And we also got the ice mirror, which is cool. It's like the non-Zelda reference version of the magic mirror, right? <laughs> oh my god, look at those physics. Look at that water ripple when we throw the shuriken. Dude, Yorazor, you did some swifty effects. Nice. All right, okay, we got a glow stick. Uh, is that granite there? So that's granite down below. Let's see if we can mine a little bit into this granite. Do I have any bombs? Okay, haven't picked up any bombs yet. So bombs are a no-go. Let's see what else we can do. Hmm, okay. Okay, gonna die. Please don't let me die. Let me breathe. Man. Okay. Whew, two bubbles at a time, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's how I live my life. Let's go down. Let's go down to the granite bioma. Okay. Can I still use my glow sticks in here? Oh, man. Most unimpressive granite biome there is. Oh, I'll take those uh, emeralds, though. Okay, how many topaz do we have? We have... Let me sort this out. 17 topaz. Dude, if we could just steal an anvil, we could actually make ourselves a hook right now. We could be hooking it up on day one. Right? Roadhogging this. Okay. Let's see. This should be... There should be something around here, like, of worth, shouldn't there? There should be, like, a granite uh, structure or something like that that we can steal. I'd like to steal that if I could. My God, it feels mad to go back to basics, doesn't it? <laughs> My God, two days ago, we were taking a look at, like, swords that shoot out rainbows and, and bosses that take days to beat. And now look at us, right? Back to being a basic, basic chap. Hmm, okay. I'll take those amethyst. And I'll keep using these shuriken. I only have 30 of them left, though. Not a great amount. Hey, I'll take that free heart as well. And I'll leave that snowflinks alone. The snowflinks is, like, more powerful than they should be. I have a feeling like they are. I have a feeling like you look at a snowflinks and think it's a pushover, and I think it's actually, like, secretly really hard. Go on, let's find out. Are you secretly... Oh, dude, 59 damage? You're secretly, like, a boss. Ah, uh, do you know what? I was going to try and magic mirror away then. I was going to try and be that dude, but, uh... Yeah, I had no chance that, <laughs> did I? I had no chance. Right, so, in typical Terraria fashion, we're going to speed build a house, right? Now, I, uh... I don't have any plans for the start of this house, because I think this house is going to be, uh... Pretty basic, because it's going to be our first house. So, uh... And we're going to destroy it in a few days anyway. As we do. So, let's place down a few torches... Like this. And let's think of an area. Because this is the area where we'll be spending like most of our time. So I think here is nice. Because that's a good like transition into the ice biome. So I, I like this structure already. That's like a decent amount of, uh, of the overworld that we've got here. Pretty happy with that. Not happy with, uh, with these little dudes. Not happy with these at all. Demonized man. Okay, awesome. Right, so I'm probably going to die during this. But let's do a little speed up. 
We'll build our uh, our first home. And then we have a permanent residence, at least for the meantime. And it's going to be awesome, because then, like, we've got our own crib. Like I said, I'm moving out in a few weeks. <laughs> this is symbolism. Symbolism for a new journey. And I hope that uh, there's lots of new people on this journey that can, uh, can come along for it. Because as we started Calamity... There was like, you know, a thousand people. And then by the end of it, you know, we had like 50,000 people watching it. It's mad. It's absolutely mad. Right. Let's speed build and see what we come up with. It's probably going to be pretty bad, though. <laughs> probably going to be a little bit bad. Hopefully. Better than bad. Good. So there we go. Now, I may have made, like, the worst-looking cross slash uh, chimney, but uh, it's going to be knocked down in a couple of weeks anyway, and we're going to rebuild with something even more beautiful. So that is day one, guys. That's the beginning of the Thorium mod. I, uh, I would appreciate it if you guys could leave some tips and explain to me what we do next. I'm super excited, though. So... If this is your first time, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you've clicked that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with every single episode as they release. And hey, if you're here from the Calamity mod, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you guys supporting the Calamity mod as, like, as much as you did, I don't think I would have been able to uh, have the motivation to make sure it came out like as best as I could, right? So have a fantastic day, everyone. I'll, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, I look forward to, uh, to delving deep into this mod. It's day one, and I'm actually, like, so excited to see where this all goes. I think it's actually going to pop off, and it's going to be pretty crazy. Right? Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out for now, guys. Bye. Just kidding, lol. Peace.